why one of the first sign one of the first signs you could see on an EKG or on an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of your heart, uh, you see something called left ventricular hypertrophy. That basically means your left ventricle which is the part of your heart that pumps basically against the highest pressure throughout your body, which is your systemic pressure. Why it gets bigger, one of the consequences is it gets bigger when you have uncontrolled systemic high blood pressure. So let's hop into it real quick. The heart is a closed loop. I'm not gonna go into the loop, but it's important to know it's a closed loop in a normal situation, in, a, in physiology, a physiological heart, that means a good heart. It's a closed loop, right? Um, and that's important because the pressure gradients are related to one another. But what I want to show is when you have an individual with an elevated systolic blood pressure in particular, diastolic is obviously important, but why a elevated systolic blood pressure, which is the top number whenever you get your blood pressure measured, why when it is above the normal range, you stress your heart more. And I want to show that with a couple vectors. So what we need to know is that pressure is equal to force over area. Okay, and I'm gonna write that down here. So pressure is equal to force over area. So there's kind of a few things that can happen. Um, one of the biggest things that happens is it has to do with your cross-sectional area of your arteries. So think about it this way. If you have a pump, you know, you're pumping and you have a hose on the other end and you're in a normal situation, this is great, right? You're pumping, you've got a pretty good cross-sectional area right here. There's not as much resistance to pushing blood out, but if you contract that hose, you're gonna have to push a lot harder. Um, you're gonna have to push, generate a lot more force to get that blood out because you're increasing the resistance uh, that's getting pushed back on the pump. And it's the same thing with your heart. And what I wanna show is, yeah, in a normal situation, you've got a uh, pressure in your left ventricle which is way bigger than your right ventricle on purpose because it sits down here. It's kind of the part of your heart you feel the most when you kind of touch your chest, left of midline. Um, and it's because it has to pump against a way higher systemic pressure compared to the right side of your heart, which is more of your venous pressure, which is a much less pr uh, uh, lower pressure gradient, essentially. So what happens here? This is a normal individual, you know, the vectors are about the same. Obviously this would be a little bigger to overcome and push blood out. Everything's good, right? You've got a good looking left ventricle, you can eject blood, you're looking great. But what happens when you have someone, one consequence, remember there's many, let's just say this person has way uncontrolled hypertension, right? I'm drawing this vector, that is way bigger than this, right? your measly little left ventricle right here cannot overcome that pressure. So what it has to do is it has to hypertrophy the muscles. Um, and that's not good because your cardiac muscles are not like your skeletal muscle. They're very different histologically. Your skeletal muscle, when you work out, when you tear them actively, they can hypertrophy, they get bigger, right? People drink their protein powder, you're set. It's great, you get bigger muscles, you can generate more force. Well, the heart's a little different. You lay down more cross bridges, but you don't want a bigger heart. That's not good. Because um, here's why, let me illustrate. So notice how this systemic blood pressure, this vector is way bigger than this one. So you're gonna have to create more pressure, um, sorry, more force to overcome that pressure. So in order to make this bigger, you're gonna have to have more uh, muscle mass to squeeze and really oppose, push against that pressure that you're not controlling with high blood pressure. Well, let's show what happens. I'm gonna just draw this in. And then let's go like this, right? So you're getting bigger. Notice how, notice how the heart, and it can get bigger around as well, but the chamber that fills with blood gets smaller. You have a smaller chamber because you're laying down more cross bridges. You're making that muscle bigger right, in order to, to generate more force. But this air, this, this, uh, the surface area, the volume in your left ventricle decreases. That is not good, right? So not only do you have a bigger heart, which you don't want, because that increases, this is the big reason, when you have a bigger heart, when you have hypertrophy, and I'll put LV, left ventricle, because that's what we're showing, the big thing, you guys, you increase your oxygen demand which makes sense, right? These are meta highly metabolic cells. They need oxygen to function. Well, you're increasing the amount of cells that need oxygen, right? You're having hypertrophy occur. 
So this left ventricle not only has to pump harder, right? You have to increase your heart rate. It doesn't fill as appropriately because it has less volume to fill and you increase your oxygen demand. All of these things are a downward spiral. They just get worse. They end up actually pushing back into the other chambers of your heart. And what this does is you have an individual who, you know, you might see it on an EKG, especially on an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound, and they measure your stroke volume, but they start noticing this ventricle starts getting bigger and bigger, and it's a downward spiral. you got to correct the high blood pressure because when you have high blood pressure, and this is the big point, when you have high blood pressure, you're basically having to pump against a much higher pressure gradient. You have to generate more force with your contractions. That is why you get hypertrophy of the left ventricle. It gets bigger. Your body has to respond, but you don't want a bigger left ventricle. That is not good. That's pathological. There are certain situations it could be okay, but for the most part, it's not. And the reason is you have less blood in here, right? Because you're, you're literally diminishing the volume of your left ventricle because that muscle fills in around it. You have to pump harder, you increase your oxygen demand. There's a litany of other reasons, but what I really wanna show is why your heart has to pump harder when you have a basically a systemic hose, your systemic blood pressure, that's way less elastic, way harder to push against. It pushes back into the heart. That's the big thing I wanted to show today and the consequence of why your heart enlarges with uncontrolled high blood pressure. See you next time.